to continue from yesterday's lecture, we're going to talk about breaking down your basic crude oil here, where we're going to take our basic crude, our C12H25, and we're going to break it down into, uh, this is its basic crude here, and we're going to start uh, reforming it. Uh, so you're going to take this basic chain and you're going to reform it here into uh, our, our condensed uh, formulas. All right, once we reform this formula, we then have to uh, polymerize this and we're going to turn it into what you put in your vehicles. All right, so you see it changed from its chain form here uh, to its hydrocarbon rings and now we've got a form that can be used in any typical vehicle that you've got on the streets. And you notice the main difference here uh, from your hydrocarbon rings to uh, you've got your rings with your CH3s on the ends. All right, and then also we've got a picture displaying this uh, to go along with that. Uh, complex formulas we learned in class lecture and we're going to put them to use in a lab. So in this lab, you're gonna take the formulas that were more difficult and you're going to break them down into a simpler version and we're gonna show the distillation process right here in the lab. So here we have our control, which is just clear water, and then this is our um, number one, and as you can see it's got all these sandy rock particles in it, and using this top plate I'm going to try to create this test, uh, this control subject, letting this water distill and catching it, and hopefully turning it into that. Okay, so right here y'all looking at the process of distilling the water using the hot plate to get the water as clean as possible to understand how we did it and why we did it. So here you see the results of our process of the lab in the water distillation where we heat up the water and caught the steam which is just clean water which is what we need to get to for the control and after this we are going to test it with some liquid to see if there's any more particles or remains of the rocks or soil left. So right here as you can tell this is after the lab and we are testing the results of the water distillation to make sure that we met the criteria of removing any of the particles or objects that we were given in our test to try to get as close to the control as possible and I'm dropping in some liquid that will reveal that if we have if anything left And as you can tell, there's nothing left, so we met the goal.